This is the most grossest, creepiest, nastiest, just repulsive thing I've ever seen. Now, I've seen a lot of romance films. I've seen a lot of wedding films. I've seen a lot of Mother of the Bride, Father of the Bride. They keep making the same films with the same title. But this one takes the cake, my friend. I don't know if this has ever been done before, but they did it. They bloody did it. This is some incest porn hub type of shit that I just saw here. What happened in this film is gross. I mean, like, it's about a girl getting married to a man she loves. Fool, stop. That should be the end of it. What the mama does, what her parents do, has nothing to do with her special day. But oh, this this shit is just first world problems. If this shit was happening in Africa, this wedding would have been cancelled the moment everybody found out. I mean, like, the father of the, of the groom and the mother of the bride used to date in their early 20s. They used to date when they were in college. They used to date. That means these people dated from 18 years old or all, all the way who knows to when and they broke up after they finished college. That's what the story is saying. That is what they're telling me. But no, 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 no. It gets even worse, my friend. You know what happens more? At first I was like, don't tell me that this girl's dad is this guy. Like, the the girl getting married is the daughter of the father of the groom. Like, the groom and the bride are brothers. No, no, no. That's not the case. It's not that. So, cool down. It's not that crazy. What's crazy is this. After the bride and the groom get married. What does that mean? That means the man's family is now related to the woman's family. So, they are all one big family. Family. Not for these freak not for these weirdos. After the wedding, you know what happens? These young this young the bride and the groom, they're supposed to go on their honeymoon. But you know what happens? The fucking bride. Father in law. Now get it this the bride's father in law proposes to the groom's mother in law. They're getting married. That's right. You know what this means? This means mother-in-law and father-in-law are getting married. What the fuck does that make the kids who are already married? Brother and sister. Stepbrother and stepsister. So this is some demonic shit that's happening here. I don't give a shit if they're not brother related. This, that's why I'm saying this is something you would see in on Pornhub, OnlyFans, all these nasty websites. Like this is what this is the shit they do. How in the world, how in the world can a man watch his son get married to a girl? And how in the world can a woman watch her daughter get married? And after the wedding of their children, these two fucks decide to get married as well. And no one sees a problem with this. The whole fucking wedding the bride is happy. The groom is happy. The friends are happy. Everybody is happy about this nonsense, fam. This gross stomach. I'm surprised I didn't throw up watching this. Like your son is marrying this woman's daughter. And you're here confessing your love. Asking your fucking assistant to bring a ring. A fucking wedding ring that you've kept all these fucking years to give to this woman who just, who's now your, uh, what, what, what do they call, uh, the, who's now the father of the groom? I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is just gross. Don't watch this. If you have sense of morality, if you have decency in your bloodstream, if you are just a decent person who's creeped out about incest and all these nasty shit, don't watch this. I, I, I'm, I'm imploring you, do not watch this. But if you're going to watch this, just know that you're going to see old people naked. That's right, you're going to see old people 
And this takes away to the point that this little girl who used to play, who, who was in iCarly Nickelodeon, is now old enough to actually act in a movie and get married. We're supposed to be talking about her performance. We're supposed to be talking about her progressing as an actress. From now, no longer playing teenage roles. And now playing a role of a woman who's old enough to get married. It's beautiful. This girl grew up in front of everyone's eyes. But to do it in a gross-ass movie. Nastiest movie I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of gross movies, fam. But this takes the cake. How can? How? Is this normal? Is this what white people do? You mean to tell me that as long as you're not blood related to white people, it's okay to fuck. It's okay to get married. This is gross. This is gross, fam. I'd understand if there was the siblings, but they're still brother-in-law, fam. You're fucking related. I mean, like, if if my brother, if I married a girl, and my brother married a girl from my girlfriend's or from my wife's family, like married her sister, that's still fucking gross, but that's better. It's decent. It's like we married the girls together. It's not weird that much. It's still fucking weird because you're marrying your brother-in-law and your sister-in-law. It's still fucking weird, but it's not that weird. But when your mother-in-law marries your father, that's fucking weird. That's weird as fuck, fam. And white people, y'all make me sick. Oh, gross. Shame on all of you. Just shameful. Shame. I just watched the most grossest, the most disgusting, the most incest shit I ever seen. It was like I was watching porn horror or blazes, whatever this shit is called. It was weird. I'm talking about Mother of the Bride. The weirdest shit I ever seen in my entire life. I don't want, and I wish anyone would come in decency with sense. Please do not watch this film. Oh my god. This was just rubbish, fam. I mean, like, I don't even know what to say. God. Oh. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Okay, let's do that again. Um. Okay. Mother of the Bride. Okay, this started off as an interesting film. No, it did not. This was a horrible film. I don't even know why I'm doing this shit. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> the problem is I'm freestyling this. Most people write this script. I just take it out of my head. Sometimes I be saying stupid shit. And I'm saying stupid shit right now. Okay. Mother of the Bride is what we're reviewing on this week's episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast episode. Nope, that's not going to work. Freestyling shit is difficult. <clears throat> now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios. <laughs>